All right, let's bring in Gary Kaltbaum. I call it confiscation. It's not a tax, it's confiscation. What do you call it? Uh, they're coming after already taxed money. Uh, you know, imagine if you started scratch in life, you became successful, and now you have two people that have never created a job or a dime of wealth telling you that they're going to take 2% of your wealth away uh, infinitum going forward. Absolutely insane. The good news is it's never going to get off the ground, or if they try a 2022 bye-bye to the Dems in the House and Senate and 2024 also. It is complete confiscation. I'm not so sure you're right about it uh, making them look bad in 2022. I think it will be very popular in America today. You got X billion dollars. All we want is two cents, two pennies on the dollar over 50 million. Is that too much to ask? That's what they're going to say. I, I love how they say two pennies. Uh, Stuart, I believe every American loves moving up in life, loves being successful. And if it's marketed correctly to people that, hey, they are coming after you, not just that, we can go back to the administration wanting to do an extra 12.4% tax. They're calling a Social Security tax on people's earnings also, as well as certain states raising taxes. Uh, there's not a tax hike they don't like. There's not a tax cut they do like. And if you put that all together in marketing, poll numbers will go the right way. And that is, it's we the people, not we the government, keep more money in the economy, keep it out of their hands. Are you still in Florida? I believe you're still in Orlando. If, I know you are. So why don't you give us a report on Wide Open, Open for Business Florida? What's it like? Uh, well, you wouldn't know there's a virus if you were driving uh, down the streets. And, you know, every weekend I go out and I, and I just check things out. And, and let me just simplify things. I went to Disney and Universal this weekend. Uh, they're open up with capacity constraints. Uh, but there are plenty of people there. And all I was thinking about was all the businesses as you enter these places that are now open and doing business and doing well. And all you got to do is go to the Disneyland in California website today, and it tells you they're still not open, and we'll let you know when we're going to be open. I'm just thinking about the restaurants and the hotels and the establishments that don't do any business right now because of this ridiculous decision-making. It is a matter of government here saying we believe business and people can take care of their, themselves to do the right thing versus California, the opposite, and it speaks volumes. Floridian Gary Kaltbaum.